Hi guys, I'm Chris and this is the Naked Hair Guy channel and on this channel I give you tips and tricks to help you amplify your knowledge and grow your client base. So if you want to learn, I'll help you with step-by-step -step videos as well as tutorials on all different aspects of hairdressing with weekly videos and live streams. Why don't you hit that like, subscribe and notification button so you don't miss out on any of them. Today's video is an update on ASP Infinity Color. I've already done some videos on this and a lot of the videos are still relevant, so I'll link them below. ASP have updated and relaunched their color back in January and a couple of things have changed, especially the gray coverage rule and the way that the color chart and the numbering system work. But let's get to it. Today, I'm gonna to start by looking at the numbering system of the new color chart. If you haven't seen the new color chart, it is amazing. ASP have made it more compact as well as including a lot more information. And if you stay tuned at the end, I'll give you some tips and tricks on new additions that have come to the range. And it's gonna mean achieving those soft silver ashes much easier. The first thing that you're gonna notice is that some of the old colors have permanently gone. And there's a lot of new additions but also that they have moved some of your favorite colors and renumbered them. And this makes a lot more sense when you look a little bit closer. The first number changed is your old point O. Now this was a neutral base. However, in comparison to a lot of other brands, people said it was warm. In the new infinity, the point O has become the double O. And the old double O, which was a warm base, has now become a double O three. The three indicates that although not really golden, the color does have some warmth to it. And finally, the old .01, which was an ash, and we used it to cover white hair, has become the new .0, the base. These subtle changes have really made a big difference, and I think will stop a lot of the confusion, especially when it comes to white hair coverage. When it comes to the white hair coverage rules, they've also simplified these. Now I think ASP has always been an amazing range to use, especially when it comes to the white coverage. There's a number of reasons that Infinity is so good at covering, and they've even improved this. The new GPS technology allows for more color to be transported into the hair, giving you greater depth and greater coverage. While they've maintained their ultra low ammonia content of 0.2 to 0.9%, and it's still 90% naturally derived, vegan friendly, and contains argan oil and shea butter. Let's get to the white wall and the coverage. If your client has no gray hair to 70% gray hair, you're simply gonna wanna go for your target color. It's still a one to one and a half mix and a 45 minute processing time. However, in that mix, if you have stubborn or resistant hair, you're gonna wanna add a quarter of the new 0.0 base and this will help cover those stubborn hairs. Now for 100% coverage. So if your client has 70 to 100% white hair, you're definitely gonna to want to add a quarter of your 0.0 base to your target color and still mix at one to one and a half and a 45 minute processing time. Now, if you have super resistant gray, you can swap the quarter of the 0.0 and add a quarter of the 0.0 X. You can also, whether you're using the 0 0.0 or the 0 0.0X, go to a one-to-one -one mix. Now, I don't use this very often as I find it covers without doing that. But if you want more depth and more tone, the option is there. Now, there's been a number of other additions to the range, and I did say I would be telling you some tips on the new color. But don't forget, if you've liked this video, to like, subscribe, and hit the notification button. This channel is for you. And if you let me know you like it and what your thoughts are, in the comments below, then I can make videos that will help you in the future. So ASP have by request added a 0.7 range and it is incredible. It's a blue base and it is super strong. It really neutralizes out that stubborn copper and gold, depending on how you mix it. But my top tip is to always add the 0.00 to it. I find equal parts of the 0.7 and the 0.00 gives me a beautiful clean ash silver result on bases six and above. It's the color everybody wants. And of course, have a play, mix it differently. 
but it is very strong when it's used on its own. So thanks for watching and don't forget to stay safe and let me know what you think and show me your results. Tag me in them on Instagram, the naked hair guy.